Guys, the most asked question I get every time I uh, do one of these HT videos is what antenna am I using and what antenna is best for your HT? Well, we're gonna try to answer that question with science. So I'm taking a stock antenna, the Nagoya antenna that I currently use on almost all my HTs, and this brand new signal stick antenna that I just ordered. And we're gonna put them to the real world test, this time on K6UDA Radio. <laughs> my friends so this morning what I want to do is I want to test out some handheld antennas this is a question I get constantly from all the handheld videos that I do what antenna do I use why do I use it what is best here's a stock antenna here's the Nagoya that I currently have on my FT5. Brand new signal stick that I just picked up. So we're gonna go and test them out. Uh, let's go this way. The idea here is we're gonna head about a mile out and then we're gonna head two miles out. And about two miles is gonna be pretty much the uh, the end of the line there. Now, the beautiful thing about living out here in southern Idaho are all the blocks here are one mile long. So all I have to do is go up to the next block over and I'm roughly about a mile and a half from the house. Now, why do I say a mile or two miles as opposed to going out five or ten miles? Because guys, point to point, a handheld radio, five watts, is effectively good to about a mile or two. That's it. And now we should be out at about two miles. We're about two miles from the house now. Two miles away from the house, the house is out that way, uh, downtown Twin Falls out there, and the Sawtooth Mountains. K6 UDA testing the stock antenna analog Montag 1. And now we're going to do it on digital. K6UDA testing digital on the uh, fusion calling frequency on a stock antenna. K6UDA now testing the Nagoya antenna two miles from the uh, receiving station and uh, I am on analog at this moment. And K6 and K6 UDA on, on I believe, digital, I believe right? digital. Yep, I should be on the uh, fusion calling frequency uh, point to point two miles from the receiving station, Nagoya antenna. All right, K6 UDA uh, two miles from the receiving station with the signal stick. This, this is, is a long signal, signal stick, stick um, on analog. And, and K6 UDA, two miles from, from the receiving station, station uh, on, on fusion with the, with the signal stick antenna. So now the biggest surprise to me was the fact that this, the stock antenna, uh, did as well as it did at two miles. 
I was very, very, very surprised about that. All right. I got to say, I was so freaking impressed with uh, the performance of all three of these antennas at two miles. Insane. Uh, I decided I need to go out further. So we're going back out and we're going to go double the range. I can't tell you guys how impressed I was uh, with, the, with the performance. I mean, I honestly didn't think that at two miles that they would be as clear as they were. And on digital, I was even more impressed. Uh, it was just dead clear, no breakups, no nothing. So very, very good all three antennas all right four miles out from the house turn the radio on here we go analog first k6 uda on nope we're on the two meter calling frequency on digital uh, four miles from the house on the signal stick, number one. K6 UDA, four miles from the house, signal stick, uh, on panel. All right. K6 UDA, two miles from the house, four miles from the house. Move over here. Casey Judy, four miles from the house uh, in town on the Royal Antenna on analog. K6 UDA, four miles from the house, Nagoya Antenna on digital. And finally, back to the stock antenna here. K6 UDA on a stock antenna, uh, four miles from the house, on Fusion. And K6 UDA, four miles from the house, stock antenna, on analog. Let's go see how this works. Guys, on my way home, uh, we'll see how this sounds. I can probably hear me now. You know why you can hear me? Because I'm on the mobile in the Jeep. Now, as far as this Nagoya antenna, the uh, NA701. I have the longer version, the I think it's like 16 or 18 inch version, and which is very, very comparable in size to the 18 inch signal stick that I've got here. The biggest difference between the short Nagoya and the stock antenna here is what I call the memory module. The stock antenna, while it is flexible, it will develop a memory. If, uh, if you bend it enough or it's subject to any heat or it's bent uh, really hard. I don't want to do that to my stock antenna. So I use these little Nagoya antennas, which are extremely flexible. I can put these things in a little knot and uh, they spring right back. Just out of curiosity, I ordered the signal stick. And I'm actually very happy I did. Number one, they do tie up like a little pretzel here. And that is very, very cool. The next thing that I was super impressed with this was at the four mile distance. This was the only antenna that got back to my station at four miles. And it only did it on analog. So if any of you guys have any illusions about long-range communications 
on fusion with your handheld. Uh, and I'm almost positive this will be the same case with D-Star or DMR or P25. Uh, get those illusions out of your head. These handhelds are made for short distances or repeater work. And they work great for that. But if you think for a second that this is going to get you uh, effective communications at 5 or 10 miles with no repeater or no assistance, you're dreaming. So now, which one is best for you? Which one is going to work best for whatever radio? Your mileage is definitely going to vary depending upon where you live, how you operate, what you do. You see, I've taken my uh, FT3 and a and an ID-51 and put them up in an airplane at 10,000 feet and I can talk on a uh, I could talk on a standard little Nagoya antenna here for close to 100 miles but my antenna is at 10,000 feet my biggest takeaway from this whole experiment is this stock antenna I was frankly surprised that it was as good and clear as it was at the two mile mark. I figured at a little over a mile, this thing was going to start falling apart and it didn't held up beautifully. It actually worked almost as well as uh, the Nagoya at two miles. Now at four miles, both the Nagoya antenna and the stock antenna both failed miserably wasn't a big surprise what was kind of a surprise was the ability of the signal stick to hang in there at least on analog radio and get me a signal back to the house at four miles very impressed with that now the problem with the signal stick antenna is uh the length at 18 inches long, this thing is a huge monster. And for carrying around on the daily, this thing is, uh, you know, especially if you click it to your hip or something, or it's in your back pocket, this thing will be jabbing you in the back. And it has the geek factor of, I would say, plus 15. So kind of like my tool chest analogy, I would say there's a tool in my chest for just about every job. And on the daily, I really like this Nagoya antenna uh, because it is so flexible and it works. Uh, it works very, very well. As a matter of fact, I was able to get sort of a signal. It put out just a, a touch more signal at four miles than the stock antenna did. If I'm going up into the mountains or I'm going to go play soda, I definitely want to take this signal stick because this thing performed so well. And when you go on top of a mountain or you're out in the middle of nowhere, uh, distance is king. By buying one of these signal sticks, you're also supporting uh, hamstudy.org, which has helped uh, thousands of new hams get their license. Uh, so I really... I really like that fact. I'm very impressed with that. I would uh, say, yes, this is an extremely good tool to have in your tool belt. And for the few of you that live in your scientific bathtub and say, oh, Bob, you need to get a nano VNA or some other kind of analyzer and you, you got to put all these antennas on an analyzer just to get the right numbers. I say bullshit. We got the right numbers in the field using the lowest common denominator, which was an actual test of all these units in what I would consider a pretty controlled environment. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please uh, give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe, the bell notification and all that good stuff that helps uh, the YouTube algorithm or uh, 
Al Gore's rhythm, and it helps to fuel his jet. I shouldn't say that. That belongs to the armed skull or I can't take it from him. Please leave a comment because it does help the algorithm. And uh, please share the video because YouTube won't do it. So uh, together, you and I can get me over the hurdle to 38,000. We'll do the Packy One Chip Challenge when I hit that. I'll have the hottest lunch on earth. And uh, I will see you guys next time. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.